Hi I'm the Academy and welcome back to Online ECAs. This week I thought it'd be nice if we were to give back to the people around us who we're most grateful for. So this week we're going to be making some thank you cards. Now these are not just any ordinary thank you cards, these thank you cards have something exciting in the middle. So you can make the front of your thank you card look however you want, but the most exciting part and the bit I'm going to teach you this week is how to make this okay so it's got some pop-up 3d flowers in the middle which is a nice surprise for anybody who's opening your card now these cards can be for anyone that you want it might be for your parents or your siblings or your teachers to say how grateful you are for all of the help they've given you with your online learning or it might be that you know a key worker who lives nearby you in your community that you might want to give your thank you card to okay so it can be for absolutely anybody you want and the front can look however you like, I don't mind, but I'm going to teach you how to make these pop-up flowers in the middle. Okay, so step one is that you just need an A4 piece of paper that you're going to fold in half. Okay, and then you're going to decorate the front of your card however you want. Okay, so this is one that I made earlier with just some tissue paper and some wrapping paper. Not very exciting. Um, but I'm sure you can some better creations. So you can decorate the front however you like, I really don't mind. Um, but you need to do that step first because once you make the flowers to go in the middle, it's then quite difficult to decorate the front. Okay, so I recommend that you do this bit first before you make the flowers in the middle. Okay, so to make the flowers in the middle, all you need is one A4 sheet of paper, a pencil, some scissors a ruler, a glue stick, I do recommend that you use glue, I did try this with sellotape and it didn't really work as well so you need to get yourself a glue stick and also some coloured pens or pencils to help decorate your flowers. Okay so the first step is you need your A4 sheet of paper, a ruler and a pencil and you're going to draw out seven nine by nine centimeter squares. Okay, so you need to take your ruler and measure nine centimeters. Make a little mark with your pencil. And then nine centimeters across the top as well. I then like to do another 9cm along the top just to join the top and the bottom up really easily so it's in a nice straight line. But you can do it any way you want, just make sure it's 9cm along the bottom and 9cm along the top. Okay, so just a square like that and you need to do 7 lots of those. Okay, sorry, annoyingly I've just realised that only six squares will fit on one piece of paper. So you will just need another A4 sheet for your seventh square, which I realise is a little bit of a waste of paper, so I'm hoping that you're recycling. Okay, so once you've got your seven squares, you just need to take your scissors and cut these out. Okay, so you should then have your seven pieces of paper cut into squares. What you're going to do next is just taking one at a time, you're going to fold two of the corners together to make a triangle shape. Okay, like that. And then you're going to fold again to make a smaller triangle.
something like that. And then once more to make an even smaller triangle. Okay, so you're folding it three times until you get a triangle this size, okay? You're gonna do the same with all seven of your pieces of paper. And you're going to draw a semicircle around on the triangle like this in this kind of action. Okay, you need to make sure that the closed bit of the triangle, so this side, is facing this way. Okay, so you start drawing your semicircle from here. Okay, I'll show you so you understand what I mean. Okay, like that. So this bit here is the closed side. Okay, once you've done that, you need to cut that out. So once you've cut it out and you're left with that, you then use this as your template. So you put it on top of your other triangles like so and you draw around it so you're using it as a template so all of your flowers will be the same size Okay, so once you've done all your semicircles, you then need to cut these out. Okay, so you should be left with seven of these. Okay, so you're then gonna open up all of your pieces of paper into flowers that look like this. Once you've opened up all of your flowers, you're just gonna take your pencil and just gonna outline one of the petals. like that and you're then going to cut that petal out okay so you're left with something that looks like that you can do the same for all seven pieces of paper Okay, so you should be then left with seven flowers that look like this with one petal missing. You're then going to take your coloured pens and you're going to decorate your flowers. So this is when your scrap piece of paper will come in handy. I recommend putting your flower on top of your scrap piece of paper um, whilst decorating just in case you make any marks on the table or anything. Okay, so you can decorate your flower however you want. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do mine. So I'm going to take my coloured pen and just do a small circle in the middle 
like so. I'm then going to do small kind of lines coming out of that circle to look a bit like the inside of a flower. Okay, like that. I'm then just going to outline all of the petals. Okay, like that, I'm going to do that for all of the petals. Like I said though, you can do this however you want. You might want to colour in the flower or decorate it in any way. I don't mind, but this is just how I'm doing mine. Okay, like that. And once you've done one flower, you're just going to do the same for all of the other six flowers. Okay, so next what you're going to do is to the side of the gap on one of the petals, you're just going to put a little bit of glue. Once you've glued it, you're then going to stick it underneath the petal next to it. So you get a 3D flower that looks like that. So I take my glue. I'm just going to glue one of the flowers, one of the petals, sorry, next to the gap and then tuck it under the petal next to it and stick that down so it looks like that. Okay, you're going to do that for all of your other six flowers. Okay, so once all of your flowers look like that, you're just going to fold them all in half so they look like this. Okay, so you're then going to take three flowers, put one at the top and then another two on the sides next to the flower at the top. Make sure the ones on the sides, the petals are facing out and the points are facing into the middle. Okay, then you take your glue stick and with your top flower, you're going to glue the two petals on the sides. Okay, so this one here, leaving the one in the middle and then glue the other side petal. You then take one of your flowers and stick
it onto the petal and the other one onto the other petal. Like so. Okay, so once you've got something that looks like that, you're then going to take another flower and this is going to be glued on the top here. Okay, so you're going to glue one side here, the middle and the other side there and this flower is going to stick on top here. Make sure you line it up with the other petals. Okay, like that. Okay, so you're then going to take another two flowers and put them to the side like you did at the start. You're then going to glue two petals on this side and two petals on the other side. This one will stick on this side. This one will stick on that side, like that. Okay, so I've stuck one here and one here. You're then going to take your last petal and stick it on the top. So you glue the top three petals and this one finally gets stuck on the top. Up here. Okay, so you should always have this gap down here. Then need to take your thank you card, open it up. You need to glue down the middle petal at the top. So this middle petal and you're going to stick it inside the card. Don't put it on the crease because it makes it hard to open. So just leave a little bit of room and stick that down. Okay, you then take your glue and you glue the middle petal on top as well. And then you're going to fold your paper over so that sticks down. Okay, so then when it opens, it should look like that with the flowers popping out in the middle. Okay. You can then write a message on the inside if you want to, it's up to you. But that is the final product. Some 3D flowers as a nice surprise in the middle of a thank you card.